Hey guys, just another update. Oh man, I just installed the SwiftTech H20 Apex water cooling system. And uh, wow, that's all I have to say. One of the hardest installations I have ever done. My first time doing water cooling and man, it's rough. Alright, anyways, I have it done though, so that's a good thing. Um, right there we got the uh, the water block there and it goes from pump to radiator to water block to reservoir and reservoir down to pump and uh, I asked people on on YouTube right here on uh, my channel and some a couple other channels on how I could mount the uh, radiator to the front I'll show you the right here that right there, oops sorry, right there and uh, I wasn't going to really use it for the reservoir because I was just thinking of using velcro so uh, I basically just took those and mounted the radiator on there turned out pretty well and uh, I only have two bays left which I had to use one for my one of my hard drives and uh, just a regular DVD drive that's all I need don't burn CDs anymore because uh, that's mm, yesterday's technology I guess and uh, there I mounted a Raptor hard drive because this case gives you a choice whether you want the a fan or you can put a Raptor hard drive or any hard drive you want in there so I put my hard drive in there not sure how the temperature is going to be on that but I'll have to check so I mounted the radiator with the clips and it fit pretty well I was, I was actually very happy because uh, the, the drive uh, these holes here for the drives it was perfect perfect fit so that's that and I'll show you the reservoir is mounted on well, let's see if I can show you it's mounted right there with uh, some velcro uh, it's not heavy so the velcro will hold it and I got the pump right there so it goes pump to reservoir then back to CPU whatever blah 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 so yeah that was such a pain to install and I was so worried for leaks that uh, I just checked the system over and over and over ran it for like five hours and no leaks uh, it comes with these little these little clamps here for the tubing so that was pretty good and uh, it came with these uh, spring like slinky thingy so when you do bends on the tubes it won't like get a kink in it so yeah and uh... pretty much it I guess oh uh... overclocking temperatures are surprisingly really really well I overclocked my quad core to 3.2 I think it was yeah 3.2 I have the NVIDIA tool, I don't know if I can sh show you guys that. Oh, there you go. So, the CPU core, whatever. Let's uh, try to focus in there. So, we got front side bus at 1600. Memory's at 1066. That's standard, not overclocked. And my video cards are not overclocked yet, so. Temperature wise, at. 3.2 um, it's really hard to see because stupid thing 28 ah, it says 28 degrees Celsius but that's probably just the surface temperature so we're looking at maybe 36 38 not bad and uh, I tested it under prime 95 for maybe six hours or so 
And uh, it was... I think it reached up to 40, 40 degrees Celsius. So that's actually really, that's pretty good. And it, uh, it kept going down. It was going from 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. So uh, it's doing what it's supposed to, and uh, I guess that's good. Um, so the new video cards are out. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get them. I might get them. I don't know, cause I ha I just got these, so I still have the 90 day step up program. So I might get them. I'm thinking about it, getting SLI. But the reviews say it needs a lot of power, so I might even have to get a new power supply. So if you guys can recommend me a good power supply, I'm thinking of the Ultra. X3 I think 1600 watt should be enough for those cards but anything more anything in the 1200 anything a thousand watts and up recommend it rec recommend it to me please and uh, that will be very greatly appreciated and uh, oh just a little story when I was putting uh, the tube in for the pump I left the uh, coolant open on the desk that I was building on and uh, my elbow bumped into the coolant and all the coolant, like I swear half of the bottle of the coolant just went all over the table on the carpet, it was a pain to clean up. But I don't know, I might have to get another bottle because I put like half the bottle in here so I don't know if that's enough or not but it looks pretty good to me so. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for these dinky little fan, I don't know if it's cooling properly, uh, just post a comment. So, thanks guys. Bye.